All right, guys. So I'm back. Uh, I got. I did about twenty to twenty-five minutes. Uh, I wasn't recording, and it was only for like a minute or two. And then I said, "Ah, fuck it. I'll just. Uh, I'll just start recording for twenty instead of thirty. So uh, this will give you a rough draft about anywhere to expect with one pet and double luck, of course. Twenty to thirty minutes of play. So as you can see, the gold I actually got was about two hundred. So I managed to kill about two hundred of them in those thirty minutes. And now I'm going to sell all the loot from obviously here and down because the rest is from robots. And oh, and I, you know, I'm one slot away from filling up. So let's see how much I actually made from this little extravaganza. So um, if I make 600,000, then that would mean that it's as good as farming robots with six low level luck, luck pets. So that actually shows you guys. The actual potential, though, in low-level uh, farming. So if you were to get uh, enough tickets to unlock um, th that amount of luck pets, then you actually you're actually making a considerable amount of gold every hour. Um, so uh, just a word to the wise. So actually, I made more than I thought I would. Um, looks like I made about uh, almost eight hundred thousand gold. So a mil, one mil, and that. girl my co-worker who's gonna draw for me yeah and uh so um that actually means that in one hour it is possible to make two mil or maybe a little bit more a little less with one luck pet so that means with the robots i would make about one to one and a half mil in an hour, so this is uh, this is about twenty five percent better. But if you consider the difficulty um, difference, obviously um, getting a couple pets with tickets would be a little easier, maybe in the short term than doing that. So then, if I sell what I got from the robots, here we go, um, one mil. So not bad. Um, I'm going to wait a minute. Um, one second, guys. I'm going to be right back. Um, there might be a diff di difficulty. Let's see here. Okay, well, so I just lost that first half of the video. I had no idea that I did that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, um, oh, that's uh, that's pretty irritating. Um, so yeah, I I did seven minutes before this video, and I just lost all of it because of this recording software. Um, well, screw it. Let's do five minutes, ten minutes of live um farming then. So uh, nah, let's do it. Screw it. See what I get. All right. So um, the very first half of the video that you guys missed um that I was recording um. I was talking about making games now. Um, I just finished a project today, and that's why I decided to start doing these videos again, because now I'm going to be working with someone else. Uh, she's going to do art for me um, for some of the adult games that I want, that I'll probably have to make to make money. And then um, I'll be making online games and RPGs like, uh, like Helmet Heroes uh, on the side, but it's just going to be something that's going to take low priority until I'm making money from these games that's uh, sustainable for income um, but yeah so what I was saying last video too is I farm another mob which are the robots and uh, Robo City and below um, they actually give pretty good loot considering um, their level they give loot that is as high as 72,000 and if you consider that for only having needing 180 defense, so 180 attack they have, that that's really good. I mean, you can get a pet to 185 defense pretty easy. And I got this guy trying to hog farm. Great. Um, I have to switch server to. I, I really wish I would have made a cowboy. I don't feel like spending the money to switch. Um, classes because it's irritating because it, literally everybody out farms you so like if I'm trying to like do a mob doesn't matter someone just range attacks and I get all my farm stolen so it's really pointless half the time um, honestly 
when I make a game that's going to be like this, because uh, I, I do want to make a game that kind of supports to the Helmet Heroes community a little bit, but I want to make it to where it's a little better than this, because this is old, outdated, and the maps are a little small in my opinion. That's why I don't play this game too often. But um, what I'll end up doing is uh, I'm going to have a ranged attack for warriors where they throw um, axes or they throw... Um, their swords and like a spiral around them and then they come back like um uh boomerangs uh just because i mean it it it's 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 so ridiculous you know obviously they're not going to be as strong per level as the range characters that i make but if they're way over leveled on the on the character on, on the enemy they're going to do the same amount of damage and one shot everything so you could at least farm your hero to be strong enough to um grind out the competition which I think is very important because everybody, when it comes to PvP and grind comp competitive mechanics, everyone needs to have an equal edge. It's not fair for one class to be better than all the other classes, like the cowboy is in this game. And then the mage is the best in PvP. You know, I think everything needs to have its strong suits and weak suits, but it's a lot better if the actual mechanics behind it is fair to all players because no one knows what they're getting into when they just decide a character. They're going to be, oh, that sounds cool, so that's the class I want. And so when developers blindly um, make mechanics that are short-sighted and they end up lopsiding the fairness of the mechanics and the characters, then it's going to drive some players away. And they're going to be like, well, screw this. I wasted all my time to make this hero, and I'm finding out it sucks. So I don't want to do that. So I want to work really hard on balancing. Pet's probably going to die here because I'm, I get some lag when I record. And... Um, I just I'm not I don't seem to be two shotting things. I have to hit them like three times and it's and now someone's in the spot too. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this and you'd like to give me a, another spot on your private server, um would be much appreciated. I'll shoot videos and give you a shout out and obviously I don't tell anybody like people ask. I've never had anybody be like, "Yeah, tell them my my private server password," even though I have so many people ask when I get on a private server, but I don't tell because the whole point of this is I don't want people on the, f I don't want people out trying to out farm me. It's really annoying, and I'm not strong enough yet to have to multi-server farm. Like uh, I have a friend, uh, Napping Flamingo, and a couple other people, and uh, they have to multi-server farm where they have alts that sit up on the edges, and um, it's really useful because when you one-shot Omega Fluffs and like you f you farm them faster than they can spawn, when you have alts sitting on the edges, they spawn while you're not on the map. And then you get way more gold. Yeah, he's going to die. Yeah, whatever. I don't care because I'm not trying to level him. And even if he gets zero stats on the level, I can just uh, redo it. Alrighty. I'm going to go heal my pet, though, because the whole point of this is farming with a pet. Uh, actually, I might book him quick. So that way I can put it in the description on YouTube because everybody loves viewing pet booking videos. I right, make active. And I'll get... I'll get 40 uh, get 20 more defense so that'll be very useful yeah I think I'm gonna book I think I made enough uh, I might have to kill one more let's see here oh yeah 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 let's see here oh how much gold Uh, yeah, I was short by a lot. Glad I kept doing this. So in these four minutes, I've only gotten one item, and it was only it was seventy thousand. But you know, I don't know, man. I, I'm really torn on how I feel about uh, farming these proteums. Like, you know, in some ways, I feel like it like it could be better than the lower level mobs, and in other words, I feel like it's just not nearly like not and not as good. And it, it's crazy because. You know, it essentially means that it doesn't really matter what level you are. If you spent the money to get tickets, uh, you're way better off. And, you know, I get it. You're trying to make money. Hell, my whole problem with my development is I'm not making enough money, and it's discouraging me from wanting to make the content I want to make. And so when people are stingy like that, it's difficult. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, okay, I'm going to go book now and then probably close off the video.
Let's see here. Um, uh, Mushroom Library. Okay. And that was for 30,000, so not really that much. Shop. Let's buy 20 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Alright. Let's do this. Alright. Maki be quick. Yeah, I got, I'm, I'm starting to um, uh, record these videos around my girlfriend slash artist on these games. So hopefully she pulls through as a lover and an, uh, and as a cooperative employee. Alright, well... I am now, I think, three mil from being protein proof. So another hour or two of farming. Gonna be fun. All right. Well, that's my video for today. I'll probably make one in a couple days, um, like I used to, so I can keep my viewership back up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, if uh, I'll be giving a giveaway um, later, but I really need to get my stats up a little higher before I do that. And if you'd like to give me a spot on a private server, yeah. Thanks, guys. Nani. Ignore her. Like I do. Alright. Adios, muchachos. See you later.